Hello everyone, it's Baby Turtle here. Index level weaknesses continue this week, although we had a really green day after Jerome Powell confirming that he will propose 25 basis point rate hike in March as opposed to 50 basis points, which was the expectation up until a few weeks ago before Russia invaded Ukraine. Markets were green, as you see in this candlestick, but still very pretty much bound by the descending channel. So I'm definitely not particularly optimistic unless we break this channel. So what I'm doing is, as usual, I'm trying to get some good value deals. And today I'm looking at airlines, ETF, uh, jets, and I sold a put on it. And uh, my strategy would be the same. If I get a sign, I would be selling um, covered calls as my capital appreciates to supplement my income and to pay myself regular paychecks. So let's get right into it. All right. So a few things that I like about Jets chart. So Jets is an airline ETF. If you have never heard of it, basically uh, it comprises of the big airline names, these four airlines. And this is a really nice article. I put the link below. I always credit by the authors I, I use in my videos. So you can, um, you can go and read the full article if you like. So um, these are the four big airlines that are captured in this Jet ETF, Delta, United, American, and Southwest. You've probably used at least one of them at some point in your life, I'm guessing. So Jets ETF is still in the recovery phase uh, you know we <laughs> indices are dropping nasdaq is flirting with bear market but still still we're talking about big valuations because if you look at how nasdaq ran um this is the daily chart let me, let me just switch to to weekly i mean it was such a violent impulsive move right after the uh the the covid crash and it was funded very much by the helicopter money provided by fed so it was a bit of a free lunch and this year it seems like we're paying the finally paying the price of that free ride and still no sign that uh, indices will recover. I think Nasdaq can very well fall into bear market territory. It was in bear market for some time. It was down 22% um, at some point. So still we're not out of the woods. Index level um, weaknesses continue because still, still the stock market, especially tech stocks are very overvalued. Now going back, back to Jets, Jets is one of the few names that are still trading significantly below the pre-pandemic levels. So if you look at the pre-pandemic le levels, um, four years uh, into the pandemic, jets have traded in a very channel-bound um, behavior. So actually, during this period, if you watch my Walmart covered call video, you would know that this would be a super covered call candidate because choppy and channel-bound stocks are my best um, covered call candidates. So stocks that make impulsive moves are not the ones that I prefer at all for covered calls. So However, um, currently, let me quickly show you, we are still trading about a 50% discount compared to uh, pre-pandemic levels. So it's hard to say that airlines is overvalued when nearly everything in the market is overvalued, especially the tech sector, despite Nasdaq coming down by close to 20%. What I like here is that Jets has respected its, um, its trend line, uh, its um, ascending channel, um, the, the lower end of its ascending channel. Uh, about four or five times, as you see, it has touched five times. This is the weekly chart. I'm using weekly just for simplicity. And let me get my drawer quickly. We also have the um, the bullish MACD crossover that is happening right now. So um, it has happened just a few days ago when I was actually worried if the market structure would break and if the strand line would break and if jets would um, sort of invalidate this, uh, this this increasing trend line but uh, it confirmed the macd it held strong on feb 24th you know the week the, the first few days russia invaded ukraine as you would remember the stock market reacted very negatively but it still maintained this um the bottom end of its trend line so it has not yet breached it so i like jets here overall because i do expect long-term jets to recover to its pre-pandemic levels as you know, COVID restrictions are easing. We don't even have any COVID restrictions in, in some countries. So definitely it's a good candidate, in my opinion, for long-term recovery and has 50% upside to reach its previous channel. Um, going quickly to the article, um, there, there's a really nice revenue projection, which the author has compiled here. Again, the link is below if you want to examine it further. These four main airlines, if you look at their revenues, of course, there was a big dump in 2020. Their revenues uh, went down by almost uh, three times, just you know, eyeballing. So that was a big, big hit on the sector. And that's when the Jets was at the bottom here, trading around $14, $15. However, 2021, they've recovered. They almost doubled their revenues approximately, uh, you know, slightly less than double, looking at uh, depending on which uh, company you're looking at. 
2022 estimates are very close to 2019 levels, but not there quite, uh, quite yet. But 2023 and 2024, we're expecting to be even better than 2019. So that is a pretty good sign showing that the, the pent-up demand will also factor in and we will bounce back stronger and we will reach revenue levels that were even stronger than the pre-pandemic levels. So that's pretty good. Um, and I think it's a reasonable assumption to say that Jets, at some point after the recovery, will be trading again back into its range. So, you know, this 27, 33 range where it was right before the pandemic, sort of four or five years into the pandemic. So my, you know, I, I think it's a reasonable assumption. That's my starting point. Of course, if you think airlines will never recover, will never get to where they were a few years ago, of course, you might not uh, want to take this trade. But for me, I like the bullish MACD crossover. I like the fact that um, Jets is at the bottom of its trending channel. And I like the fact that the revenue projections are expected to catch up pre-pandemic quite soon. So for me, again, this would be at least a minimum two-year hold. I have some for my retirement portfolio as well, which I will hold two to three years. I will probably sell once Jets recovers to um, its pre-pandemic levels because I don't see much of an upside from those levels because airline business is very um, you know, competitive, low-margin industry, very capital-intensive. So I don't see much of a value of holding this further after Jets reaches sort of um, around $30, $30 per share. But that is still a 50% upside, so it's massive. Um, so I have some for long-term hold, no covered calls. Further to that, um, after Jets touched its, the, the bottom of its uh, channel, I also sold a, uh, a put. And that is the 21 strike. I kept the strike high on purpose because I would be totally okay with getting assigned. And I collected a premium of $119. So Jets, let me refresh my journal quickly, was at $2073 as of yesterday's close. So, you know, comparable to 21 level. So let's see. I, I, I give it 50% chance I get assigned. I, if I get assigned, I'm totally okay. I would probably keep my covered call strikes high and, low, and go for lower delta because I do expect uh, Jets to, um, to actually um, to appreciate long term. Um, just you know, following its trend line, although there could be some setbacks here and there, like if we have a new variant all of a sudden, and if there's a short-term fear around it, of course, Jets price would get hit hard along with the cruise liners. But you know, one year, two years, because the revenue projections are high, the earnings <clears throat> power is good and strong long-term, I do expect Jets to catch up its pre-pandemic levels at some point in the future. So that's my investment thesis. That is why I have sold a uh, 21 strike and expected to get about 5 to 6% yield on my investment, 5%, 4% yield in um, a 45-day period. Again, I would take that any day. That is an amazing yield. If you annualize that, you would see that that's better than any index. That's better than what any index would return you um, unless there's an exceptional time like 2020 bull run. So happy with display. I'm even thinking about selling another put because... I, I already have about 100 shares in my long-term portfolio. If I get a sign, I would have 100 shares more. If Jets dips further or breaks this market structure, I would definitely um, wait for some sort of support and sell more puts on it. Because as I said, my investment thesis is still intact because the revenue projections are there, COVID restrictions are easing. And at some point, I hope and think there would be a, you know, we would come to a point where COVID no longer is a big um, agenda. Uh, maybe three years down the road, maybe five years down the road. I hope and think we will get there. So that's it for this video. If you have any comments, please leave uh, leave below. I would be more than happy to answer. This is my latest play, sharing with you at full transparency. And let's go. Uh, let's see how it uh, how it goes. Thank you very much for your time. Talk to you soon.